Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Happy Chinese New Year! I hope you are doing well. And today, um, according to the title, you know what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about my best purchases of 2022. Just one bad purchase. I feel like I did a decent job, you know, buying stuff for the last one year. Um, when I was going through all the items I got, it felt that the majority of them are great purchases. So yeah, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and I have mine right over here and let's get started. So I will start with bags. I think I got in total four bags last year and out of the four bags, three of them are on my best purchases. And uh, the first one is drum rolling. My Chanel Classic Wallet Unchained. I love, love, love this bag. It is, I think, the best purchase that I have got for the, you know, for the past one year or even for, even if, ever since I started on this journey of bag collection. Let me give you guys a closer look. This beautiful lambskin classic wallet on Chang. Let me take this thing out. They have a layer of protection inside as well. And yeah. There you have it, and the chain is inside. I just, I don't want to bring it out. I have to say, even though this is lambskin, I've used it for almost a year now. And I brought it for my travel last year in India, in Indonesia, in Singapore, in the US. And, and I wear it a lot. Like I wear it when I go out. It's very easy, you can wear it crossbody. You can fit the majority of the item when you go travel. And I feel like even though it's lambskin, it's not delicate at all. I just sincerely feel that this lambskin is a good quality lambskin and compared to the lambskin and the cow leather skin i really recommend the lambskin because it's just much looks much nicer and it's this leather is just like shining when you have light on it and yeah it just it's just so nice and it's just such a classic piece to have in your wardrobe from chanel especially nowadays you know the price increase has been crazy I think everyone has realized it by now. And this bag, I think at least the price point is still at a more acceptable range. And the price is still increasing for a wallet on chain. So if you like it, you should get it ASAP. And the next bag is this saddle bag from Charles and Keith. The name is Gavin and um, it's in this dark brownish color. And I got it last year for my birthday gift from my friends. I just sort of like requested it. And because uh, they're asking what do I want for my birthday? And I was like, well, since you asked, then I'll just let you know, this is what I want. <laughs> and I've been loving this bag a lot. I got it. I, I just want something different from black color. That's why I chose this color. It doesn't really have that many color options. If you want the real leather one, uh, they do have a lot of color options for uh, I think fox leather one. And then when the season comes to autumn and winter, I started to realize this bag and the color, it's so perfect for a slightly cooler occasion. And I just, every time when I wear like a sweater or I wear like a winter coat, I would want to grab this bag with me and just kind of make me feel like I am stepping into a scene in a Korean drama that is set in winter, <laughs> like the Goblin. It's just how I felt. Maybe maybe it's not the truth, but yeah, I love this bag. The quality is great and it can fit a decent amount of stuff in it, even though it's shaped. Not, it's not a rectangular shape, so at the bottom, the capacity is limited, but it did fit everything that I want on a daily basis. And you know, I don't carry that many stuff on a daily basis when I go to work. So yeah, love the bag and um, it has a back pocket as well. And I love this back pocket because um, I usually put my phone in it whenever I'm on the run. So yeah, I think it's, it's, it's great. Love this bag. And the third bag I got last year is a gift from my dear husband. And it is the Celine Mini Triumph bag, which is right over here. It is very mini. It is small and I have an unboxing video. I will link it up here somewhere so that you guys can take a look if you're interested. Um, I also did a capacity test in the video, so if you're interested, you can take a look. And yeah, like what I mentioned, I don't bring a lot of stuff when I go out, especially during weekend hangouts with friends. I only usually bring a card holder and I put a few cash in it. 
and then the key, a lipstick, and my ear pods, and um, that's about it. And can't fit all this stuff in it. And the strap is inside. I just put it inside because whenever I store it, I usually just put it inside. It's a great small bag. It's a bag that um, if you feel like you want to be a bit more stylish, you would want to wear it. It's a super chic um, mini bag look, and yeah, I, I love it. I wear it a ton when I go out with my friends for the weekends. Just give you guys a closer look. It's, yeah, it's just a cute, amazing mini bag with the classic elements from the new Celine. Yeah. So this is the bag category. And now let's move on to the jewelry category. So the first jewelry that I got last year is from a brand called Keeling. Keeling is a young brand that established in 2004 in Hong Kong. And now it's part of the um, luxury group Keering. Well, these two names did sound a bit similar to each other. Keeling and Keering. Is that the reason why Keering bought this brand? I'm just, yeah, saying it out loud. It is a Valentine gift from my husband last year. So I got it in February last year. I've been using it for almost a year now and it is on my finger today as well. It's right here, this one. So it has, um, diamond around and then in the middle in the center is a red carnelian and um around it is just like a simple rose gold ring yeah the bit about this brand is a hong kong based brand of course and it is a brand that promote a lot of chinese culture chinese heritage and the shape of the carnelian and the diamond is actually called um ulu it's something that is very frequently seen in Chinese culture, especially in the ancient times. Like even, I think in rural China these days, people still use this as, um, it's, a, it's essentially a type of vegetable. And what people would do is that people won't eat it. If people would just get it from the tree, it grows on the tree and people would get it and then empty it out and make it half and just empty it out and use it as a, a type of utensil to get water or like a bowl. So, yeah, I just have a lot of Chinese heritage in it and I love the meaning and I love the brand as well. And um, and I'm, I'm a Chinese, so that's why I, when, when my husband was asking for my opinion on the Valentine's Day gift, I think, yeah, I was like, this is what I want. I don't think this brand has an outlet in the US because it's essentially, I think, a more Asian-centric brand, but it's very famous among the Chinese, I think, around the globe. And the next item um, I got last April was the Chomet necklace. And I have an unboxing as well. It is right here. I, I love, love, love this necklace. And I just want to do this thing again. You know, when you open it up, it's just such a dreamy effect. Look at it. Oh, it's so dreamy. So yeah, I love this necklace. It is red carnelian again, similar to the you know, the Ulu ring I have, this is red carnelian as well. There's a small diamond in the middle. I'm a big fan of these dainty jewelries. And if you guys haven't checked out the unboxing video, I will put a link up there so that you guys can take a look. But essentially, I was struggling between this one and the Alhambra, uh, the Van Cleef and Apple's Alhambra Sweet size uh, necklace. And it's eventually I went with this one, um, but I still love the VCA one as well, but I enjoy wearing this necklace a lot. And as what, or what I mentioned, this kind of necklace, you can wear it with a lot of different types of outfits. And this necklace is perfect for summer. It's just like this nice dainty little necklace that adds up to your overall outfit. And yeah, I just love it. I love it to pair it with my Keeling Ulu ring as well. And the next jewelry item that I got last year was before my birthday and it is my chanel earring which i am wearing right now right here it is a custom jewelry and it is my first custom jewelry from any of the big luxury brands i don't think you need to get a lot of these type of custom jewelries because you know the mother of pro is not real mother of pro the diamond is not real diamond but i do feel that you need at least one or two piece from like chanel or like dior just to have that kind of a statement piece with you whenever you want to go to a big event or a big occasion you, you can wear it. It's a very dominant piece with a big Chanel logo on your ears. You need at least one or two, but that's about it. I enjoy wearing this one because the style is 
it's very simple and i just enjoy like more simple style items and that can match with a lot of different outfits let me take it out to give you guys a closer look and the third category i just want to quickly share two accessories i got last year and i enjoyed a lot and both of them are from gentle monster the first one is a sunglasses from gentle monster just this one it is a collaboration between Gentle Monster and Jenny from Blackpink and um, yeah, I just enjoyed wearing it a lot it's just very, you know, chic and cool style yeah, it's just a nice little sunglasses just loved it a lot so this one, I enjoyed it and the next one is also from Gentle Monster it's not a sunglasses it is a like normal glasses it doesn't, it's not a spec, it's basically a normal glasses that helps you with the blue ray that coming from the screens so it just basically protects your eyes from the blue ray if you wear it and i wear it a ton since i am exposed to a lot of blue rays on a daily basis for someone who works from night to six from monday to friday this one helps me a lot and i have to say before having this i do feel that my eyesight is getting weaker and weaker i used to have a perfect eyesight so I don't want the eyesight to getting worse to the extent that I need to wear a spec. So I got this and then after getting it, I feel like that my eyes feel more comfortable if I, look, I need to look at a screen for a longer time. In general, it's just not getting worse and anymore. It's very good protection if any of you want it. I strongly recommend it. And a lot of people don't think it's necessary to have glasses like this for Blu-ray, but I think it is something that people don't focus on but it is an important perspective that you should realize and you should consider getting it and these are all the best purchases i had from 2022 and now there's one you know not so good purchase i got from last year and it is from coach and i also did an unboxing with this bag uh, it is the coach Kashin carry tote um, put a link up there if you want to check it out i think it's a it's a good looking bag and it's chic and um, I got this color that is more bright or a smaller bag. Somehow I just feel like the problem is from this color as well. It's a bit difficult to carry it with a lot of outfits. Somehow I just didn't reach out for it that much. And I also felt that the size of this bag is a little bit awkward. Like if I want to bring more items with me on a daily basis, I would probably reach out to a bigger bag like my Loewe Vey Puzzle or my LV Elma BB or if I really want to be a bit more stylish and be a bit more chic I would bring a small mini bag like my Chanel Wallet on Chain or just my, you know, Celine Mini Triumph bag This bag is like in the middle so not really reach out for this bag that much but that said, I feel that if I get a right color of this bag, I would use it more frequently and or even I just get the bigger version so I can carry it to work because this bag comes with a bigger version as well. It's more like a bigger tote bag. I still love it and I will keep it, but then just somehow I didn't use it that often. And speaking of coach, I still love the brand. It's such an uprising, you know, affordable luxury brand with a lot of nice quality bag. This bag's quality is amazing as well. So yeah so that's it guys i hope you find today's video informative if you are interested in understanding more about any of these items you can always you know leave a comments down below and i can talk with you more about it or check out all different unboxing or review videos i have in my channel don't forget to like today's video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more of me talking about luxury and bags and i will see you soon in my next video i have the wish list of 2023 coming up very soon and i also have a very exciting unboxing of a bag to share with you as well so stay tuned and i will see you soon in my next one bye